Oh, chill, chill, chill. I know the title of this video will provoke some of you to want to give me an e slap. No. Just listen to me patiently. Let me explain myself. I want to reassure you I'm not anti Biafran. Mm -hmm. And to some of us that are not Nigerians and would like to understand what Biafran movement is all about, you will get your answer all in this video. And before we go further to explain the Biafran movement, let me just give us a few light to a few things that are happening we cannot ignore them around the world we can never ignore them if we must be able to understand the political uh, atmosphere the ambience that is going on right now all over the world there's something that's happening if you notice lately that africa is booming economically they are growing quickly very fast and that the western world are having security challenges the Russians are challenging the Americans and recently the Russians went and installed some they deployed some military equipment to Syria and do not be surprised anytime soon if we go back to the era of the Cold War or we hear about Third World War coming into past we will not be surprised with the way things are going on okay and one other thing again is Africa trying to come out trying to industrialize, trying to build her economy. We have seen countries like Rwanda trying to lead Eastern Africa into becoming some, one of the top countries in the world. So the Eastern part of Africa are trying harder to come out. They're trying to industrialize their country. They're trying to innovate. They're trying to uh, try a lot of things about technology. And you know, on the, on the other side, the Western part of Africa, we have Nigeria, which is leading the rest of the country. And uh, two things are happening in Nigeria now that we cannot ignore. The building of the Eco Atlantic City in Lagos, which we have international uh, attention, and the, the, the building of the, uh, the, the factory by Dangote. Those are two things that can never be ignored about Nigeria. That, without any doubt, will set Nigeria on the peak. And it's going to change the future of the of the of 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 Africa and Nigeria in general but with this movement with this development there is something seriously that cannot be ignored a cultural decadence a certain level of dissatisfaction of social injustice a faction a group of people that identify themselves as the Biafrans, feel they are marginalized. These are Biafrans, the Igbo language people in Nigeria, and that uh, they feel they are socially sidelined by the Nigerian government. A lot of things have not been allocated to them. And so they came up with a struggle. They want a nation. They want a separate state for themselves. And they want to do this. Okay. Now, we're seeing Africa growing economically. We're seeing Nigerians trying to lead the rest of the country. We're seeing the world, uh, the Western world, are trying to challenge it security-wise. And uh, it's not a good thing. It's a very bad omen. But we don't care about the Western world. If they like the issue and annihilate themselves, we don't care about that. Because for so long, they have been uh, 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 siphoning now. They, they have been... They, they have been uh, uh, we're having this kind of what, what is known as a parasitic relationship between the Western world and Africa. So the only way that Africa can go and develop is when the Western world is fallen. And it will definitely fall that, I assure you. Because like any other kingdom, the Persian civilization, the, the, the Roman kingdom, the, all the kingdoms, all the great great kingdom, even recently the United Kingdom, that was once dominating the world. We don't know what happened. She has lost her power. She has lost her grip. And today is America that is leading the world. And certainly with time, as time goes on, we don't know what happened. All the great civilization, the Greek civilization, everything that happens, they vanish. We don't know how, but this is the law of nature. And I promise you that the Western civilization is coming to a fall. And that there will be a day that Africa will emerge as a world superpower. And that day is coming soon. It seems impossible now, but it will happen. Certainly not in this generation and not in my generation or in your generation. Maybe their children to come they will see this happening. And then they will be the one to enjoy this civilization. But as far as I don't see that happening anytime soon because we're still under the, 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 the world superpower. So back to Nigeria. Nigeria is emerging. 
Nigeria is going to become a strong country economically. She will be booming and her people will be enjoying it. But there is a cultural decadence. This group of people that are agitating and clamoring for a separate nation cannot be ignored. They are the Biafrans. Now today, the word Biafra is synonymous to corruption, to ethnocentrism, to no, no, no. When I say synonymous, means uh, it is synonymous to anti-corruption, anti-ethnocentrism, anti-segregation. Is a word that signifies freedom. Is a word that signifies equality. Is a word that signifies social justice. Is a word that signifies healthcare system. So, but what is wrong with the struggle today is that there is a misplacement of priority. Most Biafrans today don't understand what they are fighting for. They are calling for a separate nation. True, that is fine. But where will you start when you have a separate nation? And can Biafra, does Biafra really need to be independent in order to succeed? No. The answer to such question is no. That's one of the questions I received from one of the person that that that, that has inbox me this question. Say, does Biafra need a separate nation to succeed? The answer to such question is no. Nigeria as a country is practicing what is known as federalism, federal system of government. And this system permits every single state to develop on its own to generate its internal revenue. Okay, and this is what I suggest to the Biafrans. Now you are clamoring for a separate nation. Why don't you start from somewhere? Why can't you create a league, a regional league of Biafrans? Call all the allies. There are a lot of wealthy Biafrans in the US, in the UK, with money. Call them to come and build airport to support the local industry, to support and create what you want. You can't wait for somebody to do. If you're waiting for the Nigerian government to provide all these things to you, you're going to die. You need to create it yourself, create this wealth, create the kind of society, the kind of society you envisage for your people. That is what Biafra is supposed to be, a society that we create, create a regional league that will make sure that every single Biafran is taken care of. By then, you won't need to, there will be no need to complain about uh, the Nigerian government not providing what you need. No. Lagos, independently, is is booming each biafran state can become like that build the economy build what you need make sure that all your governors call them to be accountable set a system create a nation in a country a separate nation that is the spirit of biafra the spirit of biafra is not war the spirit of biafra is not hunger the spirit the, the, the spirit of biafra is not that a lot of people don't understand this concept of Biafra and it's going to destroy our country, it's going to destroy Nigeria, it's going to destroy Africa. Now the struggle is on. Nothing is happening because the Western world are just looking. None of them have come to the Biafrans aid. Just wait and see. The Biafrans don't have any ammunition now, but when France, Germany or the US or Israel or anywhere decided one day to say, okay, we'll supply with ammunition to fight, to claim your independence, then there will be bloodshed. There will be another civil war. There will be another catastrophe in Africa. And that is what we are trying to avoid. So let's not be misguided with this movement of Biafra. Let's understand clearly what is our vision. Let's understand specifically what we want. We are fighting for social equality. We are fighting for, for the development in our community. Let's not just misplace our priority. Let's understand this movement, please. Let's not disrupt this economic boom that is about to happen in Africa. It's our time, it's our future as Biafrans, as Africans to grow and to become independent. So please, let's understand the difference and let's not give chance to this Western world to come. And there's one thing we're ignoring. They set up a border, an artificial border to divide us. And that is not how we can grow. Africa, for decades, for centuries, has been referred to as a country. Today, they don't even know that Africa is a continent. They don't know that there are thousands of countries in Africa. We have 54 countries in Africa. But anytime they're talking about Africa, they refer to Africa as a country. They talk about Africa, oh, they're comparing African economy with Indian economy, African economy with this economy, African economy with that economy. No, Africa is not a country. Africa is a continent. 
And for us to be able to succeed, we must start to behave as a country, as a single country today, not as a continent. Let's not let the artificial border that has been created by the colonial masters to set us apart. What you're trying to do is to promote a colonialist idea when you're calling for a separate state. You are counting yourself out, and that is not the solution. The struggle today is to fight against ethnocentrism and religious bigotry. I am not a believer. I don't believe in spirituality. I don't believe in all this uh, religious bullshit. No, I don't believe in all those things. And I believe I'm Hausa, if you don't know. But I support the teaching of Igbos in the school. I support the teaching of Yoruba and the teaching of Asa. I support the teaching of indigenous languages in our schools. I want our children to speak. Now, if I ask one of you, what is the meaning of, what is the meaning of the word feminism in Igbo language? Nobody can answer me. So this is what we want. We need to focus more. Let's not misguide ourselves. Let's understand the true meaning of this movement. Let's not just let this Western idea continue to set us apart. Thank you.